Hello everybody and welcome to story time. I'm Miss Melissa and I'm so glad you could join me for this week's toddler time. I really get started. We are going to start with our welcome song. You ready? Here we come now to story time, to story time, to story time. Here we come now to story time so early in the morning. And this is the way we clap our hands, clap our hands, clap our hands. This is the way we clap our hands so early in the morning. And this is the way we stomp our feet, stomp our feet, stomp our feet. This is the way we stomp our feet so early in the morning. And this is the way we wave hello, wave hello, wave hello. This is the way we wave hello so early in the morning. All right, so next for today, it is time for our first story. And today's first story is called How to Find a Fox. And this story is by Nyla Magruder. How to Find a Fox. Find a foxhole. Any foxhole will do. The best foxes are at home when you visit. Take out your fox bait. Place it somewhere easy to spot. Hide, then wait very quietly. Wait a little longer? Hmm, maybe you should try a different approach. Tread slowly over the ground. Foxes have keen hearing. You don't want to startle them. Be sure to look for fox tracks. They're like dog tracks, but sneakier. Take a picture of a family of raccoons. They have bushy tails, kind of like foxes. Put out more bait. Wait longer this time. Oh no, you waited too long. Lying around won't bring foxes to foxes to you, keep looking. Stalk through the grass, make fox calls. Search by the stream, make more fox calls. Roll down a hill, it won't help you find a fox, but it's fun. Maybe you need a change of perspective. Climb a tree, slowly, carefully, there he is! Now that she's way up high, you see the fox. Climb down from the tree. He's getting away. Run, run! You've got to be quick. Don't lose him. You lost him. Kick a rock. No, wait, not that one. Kick a smaller rock. Lie down on your back because it's hopeless. Perhaps this was the wrong day to find foxes. Maybe you should just give up. You want to go home, but you're too tired. What do you do now? Take deep breaths, close your eyes, Take a walk in your mind. Now's not the time to give up. What you're looking for is closer than you think. You've got a feeling that's staring you right in the face. Some days a fox doesn't want to be found. Some days he wants to find you. Congratulations, you are a master at finding foxes. The end. All right, so next for today, we have a game up on our board. So here's our board. So can you tell me what's this? Can you see? We have a great big rock. And next to our rock, we have a green bush. And down under our rock, we've got a pond. And next to our pond, do you know what this is? There's a cave. And down here at the bottom, we have, we've got some trees that make up a forest. And next to our forest, we have a tent. 
And do you know what color our tent is? That's right, we've got a green tent. And for this game, we've got our little fox here and our fox is gonna go hide behind one of these items. So you have to guess where he's hiding, are you ready? All right, can you close your eyes? Can you close your eyes up tight? No peeking, no peeking, keep them shut. Almost ready. All right, you can open your eyes. Where do you think our fox is hiding? Hmm, let's see, is our fox in the, in the green tent? Let's look. No, not there. Let's see, what about on, in the pond? Do you think our fox might be in there? No, not there. Hmm, where should we look next? What about up here in the green bush? Let's see. Nope, not there either. Hmm, where else should we look? What about behind the gray rock? Let's see. There's our fox. There's where he was hiding. All right, you ready? We're gonna play that game one more time. Ready? So close your eyes up tight so I can hide our fox. Keep them shut. No peeking. No peeking. Almost ready. All right. You can open your eyes. Where do you think our fox is hiding? Hmm, is our fox down here in the forest? Let's take a look. No, not there. Hmm, where else should we look for a fox? What do you think? Is it, hmm, maybe he's hiding under the rock again. Let's see. No, not there. Hmm, let's see. Should we check in the green bush? Let's see. Nope. Not there. Hmm. Let's see. Should we check in the cave? Oh no, our fox isn't there, but what animal is? Can you see? We have a bear hiding in our cave, but we still haven't found our fox. Where else should we look? Hmm. Is our fox in the green tent? Let's see. There he is. Our fox is hiding in that green tent. All right, so now it is time for our second story for today. And today's second story is called Hide and Seek. And this story is by Il Sun Ha Na. At the edge of a vast rainforest where sunlight shines through the leaves, the animals gather together. Let's play hide and seek, says Chameleon. I'll count, offer elephant. One, the animals run and hide. Hey, no peeking, shouts Flamingo. Two, which tree should I hide behind, thinks Giraffe. Three, can I hide behind this rock, wonders Rhino. Four. That's my shell, whispers Tortoise. Five. I will pretend I am a statue, says Gorilla very quietly. Six. We'll hide up here, flutter the starlings. Seven. And we'll hide down here, shuffle the bush babies. Eight. Quick, everybody hide, say the little ones. Nine. Elephant's voice gets louder. Ten, he cries. Ready or not, here I come. Elephant seeks high and low. Found you, found giraffe. Found you, found gorilla. And found you, he calls. Found you all. But what about chameleon, they ask. Hmm, do you see our chameleon anywhere? Where could he be hiding? So at the edge of the vast rainforest where sunlight is fading, the animals look everywhere for chameleon. Hmm, do you see it anywhere? Do you see our chameleon? We give up, they say. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Found you, 
Christ chameleon. There he is on the tree. The end. All right, so next for today, we are gonna use our scarf. So can you find a blanket, a washcloth, even a paper towel, anything you can shake around? Are you ready? Can you shake? Can you shake, shake, shake? Shake your scarf. Keep shaking. Can you shake your scarf way up high in the sky? Shake it way up high. And what about down low? Can you shake your scarf down low? And can you shake it up high again? Way up high in the sky. And can you shake it down low? Now, can you take your scarf and can you shake it on top of your head? Can you shake it on top of your head? Can you shake your scarf on your shoulders? Can you find your shoulders? Shake, shake, shake. And can you shake your scarf on your elbows? You find an elbow and shake, shake, shake. Do the other elbow, shake, shake, shake. Now, can you take your scarf and can you play peekaboo? Are you ready? You can go peekaboo, peekaboo, peekaboo. All right, so now we've got a song with our scarves and everybody can shake along. Are you ready? We wave our scarves together, we wave our scarves together, we wave our scarves together because it's fun to do. We wave them up high and we wave them down low. We wave them in the middle because it's fun to do. And right now we're gonna to toss our scarves. We toss our scarves together. We toss our scarves together. We toss our scarves together because it's fun to do. We toss them up high and we toss them down low. We toss them in the middle because it's fun to do. Ah, oh, nice job. Give yourself a great big shake. You shake, shake, shake. All right, so now you can go ahead and put your scarf away for today, and it is time for our last story. And today's last story is called, Where is the Green Sheep? And this story is by Mim Fox. Ready? Here is the blue sheep, and here is the what colored sheep? We've got the red sheep. Here is the bath sheep. And here is the bed sheep. But where is the green sheep? Here is the thin sheep. And here is the wide sheep. Here is the swing sheep. And here is the slide sheep. But where is the green sheep? Here is the up sheep. And here is the down sheep. Here is the band sheep. And here is the clown sheep. But where is the green sheep? Here is the sun sheep. And here is the rain sheep. Here is the car sheep. And here is the train sheep. But where is the green sheep? Hmm. Here is the wind sheep. And here is the wave sheep. Here is the scared sheep. And here is the brave sheep. But where is the green sheep? Let's see. Here is the near sheep. And here is the far sheep. Here is the moon sheep. And here is the star sheep. But where is the green sheep? Do you see him anywhere? Hmm. Any green sheep? I don't see him. Where is that green sheep? Let's turn the page quietly and let's take a peek. Here's our green sheep fast asleep. Our green sheep blends in with that green bush he's leaving behind. 
the end. All right, so now it is time for our goodbye song. Are you ready? Our hands say thank you with a clap, clap, clap. Our feet say thank you with a tap, tap, tap. Clap, clap, clap. Tap, tap, tap. We roll our hands around and wave goodbye. Bye, everybody. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.